probably a 7,500. Wow. <laughs> Brandy Passante is a name that needs no introduction. One of the most attractive cast members of Storage Wars, Brandy Passante has been turning trash into gold on the show for as long as we can remember. And fans love her due to her charming personality and attractive looks. In today's video, we're going to talk about some of the best storage finds of the Storage Wars star, Brandy Passante. My Little Pony Toy Collection. In one of the earliest episodes of the show, Brandy, along with her husband, Jared, bought a storage unit for 50 bucks. The couple, still new to the storage unit business, so they didn't know much of what they were looking for. But what they found inside the unit completely blew their minds. Inside the unit, they found the largest My Little Pony collection ever seen. The collection includes action figures, accessories, collectibles, and hundreds of toys. The couple had no clue about the collection's value, so they took it to an expert. Both of them were pleasantly surprised when the expert valued the whole collection for over $1,000. The unit was one of their earliest ones on the show, and it turned out to be pretty profitable. $875. That is awesome. <laughs> Can you believe we made almost 1000 bucks on a $50 unit? For also, guys, comment down below and tell us, are you a fan of the Storage War star, Brandy Passante? Why do you like her? Let us know down in the comments and let's jump back into the video. If you haven't watched the show before, Storage Wars is an American TV series which first aired in December of 2010 on the A&E Network. When rent is not paid on a storage locker for three months in California, the contents can be sold by an auctioneer as a single lot of items in the form of a cash-only auction. The show follows professional bidders who visit storage facilities throughout the state and bid on these abandoned storage units. Before the auction, the buyers are given five minutes to review the items of the locker from the door of the locker without entering it. After a buyer buys the locker, they review all the items in it one by one and estimate how much they can sell each of these items for, calculating the total in the end to see if they bought the locker for a profit or a loss. Any rare or unusual items found are taken to an expert who estimates what the items are worth. Star Trek Prop Replica In one of the episodes of the show, the star, along with her husband, paid $230 for a mostly empty locker containing seven cardboard boxes. However, in one box, the couple found an official Star Trek prop replica, phaser, and communicator, complete with certificates. The items even came with an autograph of William Shatner, who played Captain Kirk on the original 1960s series. The couple took the whole set to an expert, and it turned out to be one of their best finds, priced at over $4,000. I'd say for both of them, $4,000. What? Shut your face. Screen printing equipment. Brandy Passante bought a pretty expensive unit for $2,850 in one of the episodes, and it was full of odd boxes. As she examined the boxes, she realized that the boxes contained everything needed to run a screen printing business. Screens, press, flash, and exposure unit. All the equipment together was valued at $5,000. The unit, although expensive, did pay out in the end. Five grand. It's like easy money, double our money and move on after we print some shirts. Bozak! Also guys, if you enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to leave a like, make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you know about our latest uploads. With that being done, let's jump back to it. The Classic Toy Collection. In season one of Storage Wars, Brandy, along with her husband Jared, bought a locker for 1700 bucks after an intense battle with a rival bidder. The couple wasn't very sure about the locker, but they were really surprised when they found out what was inside. They found a classic toy collection that turned out to be worth more than $12,000. This was one of their biggest jackpots on the show. Ancient Japanese Hat One of the biggest profits Brandy made on her own was during 2013, when she bought a locker for 1900 bucks. Jared thought that she had spent too much on the locker, but it turned out to be a profit when they found an ancient Japanese armor hat inside the unit. The hat was actually a part of an ancient Japanese battle armor, and it was worth 7500 bucks. The star couldn't believe her luck on hearing the amount it was worth. Probably 7500 Wow. <laughs> 
Alrighty guys, that concludes our video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and let us know you liked the video so we can keep on making awesome content for you. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, and share your thoughts about the video in the comments below. Let me know what you all think. That's all, and we'll see you in the next one.